Panda Vapes here, or Panda, which you, whichever you prefer. Um, sorry, that is my phone. Forgot to turn it off. But it's starting so great, isn't it? Hey guys and ladies, Panda Vapes here, and you are on my channel. <laughs> I'm, my name's Panda. Um, this my channel's name's Panda Vapes. Obviously, duh. Um, if this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you're always up to date with me because you do not want to miss anything that I review or I talk about. I also have, um, I post up at home with Panda Dose Vapes. If you haven't checked that out, go check that out. That is what me and my now to say fiance overdose vapes. If you don't know his channel, go check his channel out too. He is very, very professional and he goes down to the science of e liquids and whatever he reviews. He's amazing. Which is why I'm marrying that man, right? Put a ring on it. No. Um, yeah, so welcome to my channel. If you are new, if I haven't said that already, I am so sorry. I have two channels. If you are, are a girl and you're into fashion, makeup, funny stuff, yeah, want to see more of me, hear some personal stuff about me, go join me at my other channel, Panda Girl Fashion. That's where all the girl things happen. If you're a guy and you're into that stuff and you want to just see more of Panda, go, you can also subscribe to Panda Girl Fashion. I'm not a hater to guys subscribing at all. I actually don't mind at all. Um, so we are also at the end of this, sorry, I'm so like, I've done like so many things today. I, at the end of this video, this is starting so freaking loud. Let me tell you. Let me um actually use my thing I got in the mail. This is supposed to relax me, reset me, because Panda got issues. <laughs> Panda got some issues. Um. Okay. So yeah, it actually works. It's really relaxing. Um, so anyway, if at the end of this video you you want to see more of me and you lo like this video, please hit that like button because it makes me smile and then other people know that this is a great video and they should watch it too. And also, don't forget to comment. I love, love, love hearing from you guys. If you have any questions about vaping or anything, then just let me know ask the question, ask me about an e-liquid, anything, anything you want. It doesn't matter. I'm an open book I, and I love communicating with you guys. I love answering, answering questions. If I don't know it, Travis knows it. If he don't know it, Getty knows it. And if he don't know it, Google knows it. <laughs> I will Google it for you because I Google everything. Um, and I just love hearing from you guys. I love hearing from you guys. It just makes me feel so good. I'm almost at the 300 point. Don't forget, I have a giveaway going on. So I will leave a link to that giveaway right up there. Don't forget, it's a Vaptasia giveaway. So you got to say, I love Vaptasia at the initial video, which I will leave. And that is when I reach 300 subscriptions. I would love to reach a thousand, but right now my goal is 300. Um, what else? Also, share, share Panda, share me around the world. Don't keep me to yourself. Yeah, okay. My nose won't decide to run. All right, so we are, let's get down to the review. We are re reviewing on my custom mod, on my custom box mod from. Box Big Mike Box Mods, and I will leave a link to his information if you want a custom 
regulated mod box mod he has three different sizes i think three or four i think i think it's three and they're gorgeous yeah he it has a 250 dna chip inside it it's amazing i literally love it like and i you know me i'm mech mod girl and i've been carrying this baby around with me everywhere We are reviewing the from Free Max. It's the Fire Luke Mesh. It is a mesh R uh, um mesh RDA mesh tank subbone tank. And you know me, I do not subbone at all. It's not for me. But I've been using this, and I got to say, I like it. It's got really good flavor. I've been using um Dinner Lady, and it's dinner lady i had the lid off because i'm pouring this in when i do my review i can you cannot waste dinner lady down the sink i'm sorry to say that is a regulation of the law a deregulation every it is against the law to do that and um lemon tart if you haven't tried it look at my review on it it's delicious oh my god if you like pastry lemon like pies I would drink this if I could without getting sick. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is beautiful. We're going to go up close and personal with it. And I'm going to show you what it comes with. Unbox it and tell you my thoughts and everything about it. And yeah, so we're going to take it down to the table and do all that jazzy, jazz, jazz, jazzy, sneakers, sneakers. Yeah, and if you hear any noises during this video, it is Travis coming home from work, so don't be alarmed. I'm okay, it's not a burglar. <laughs> so we're going to take it down to the table, and I will see you soon. Be right back. Don't know how to do those, guys. Don't know how to do those. Hi guys, so Panda Vapes back. I am at the, well Panda, I am at the table. Let me take a quick vape because I've been vaping this f fluffed strawberry pound cake. Me and my good friend, um, one of my subscribers, which <laughs> she sends me little emails and requests and all that stuff. She also adores this. Um, so like we have the same flavor profile but i travis ended up i gave it to travis and he ended up giving it back to me which is amazing let me see if i can put it in there yeah if you haven't tried fluffed you have to get it oh my god it's sweet it's yummy i'll probably have a review on that for tomorrow All right, let's get to it. All right, so I want to thank Heaven's Gifts for sending this out to me for the purpose of this review. And um, this is, it is the, if you can see, Fire Luke Mesh from Freemax. And this is how it comes. It says Freemax, has your scratch and sniff right there. This is a grape flavored scratch and smooth. Scratch and sniff, yeah. So here you got your Fire Luke Mesh, the name. It's very simple packaging, Freemax again. And on the back, you have um, your, your the specs, the specs. 20, it's 24 millimeters by 46.5 millimeters. Well, it says it is a pirate Pyrex glass at plus th um, 316L. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe, I think 316L. Not sure. Um, don't, you, uh, no, no clue. Okay. Three milliliters of e-liquid capacity. Easy, easy top refill. 
um, 810 drip tip, and yep, so, and then you got your new mesh coil, it's 0 .0, 0 0.15 ohms, sorry, 940, and it t lets you know what um, wattage to run that at. But I let me tell you, I it says 40 to 90 watts. I've been running it on my custom um, box mod at 108, and it's been going great. I have not burnt the coil at all, and you know me, I'm high. I'm a high heat vapor because I'm used to mechanical mods, so and I'm used to RDAs, and it's been hanging tough with me and I've had it for about two weeks now maybe a little bit longer and it's been doing well it has not burnt on me at 108 or even 110 watts I've been it's been holding up fantastic and the flavor is amazing I will get to that I am jumping ahead to because I'm so surprised of how much I like I take a not and it's not rebuildable I do wish they sent me more coils so I could take the coil apart and show you what it is made out of, but they did not, so sorry about that. I might waste, I'm not wasting a coil for that. Um, so, okay, so it is a bottom dual adjustable airflow. It's standard 510 base, it includes your fire mesh tank, and it has a pre-installed 0.15 ohm mesh coil and then you get an extra mesh coil the same 0.15 ohm mesh coil which I think that's awesome because 0.1 everyone likes vaping that's like the lowest I mean the highest I will vape ohms I, I like I enjoy is 1.5 that's that's actually really high for me a point point one is my comfort zone where I really really like but point one five is good still I just have I put it on really high heat so it makes it enjoyable but you know me I'm point zero five point zero seven point zero eight I'm a low ohm <laughs> you know me um, Travis has turned me out when it comes to my coils and other things you know what I'm saying <laughs> just kidding okay it's got a replacement Pyrex glass replacement o-rings um, one and then your user manual and then it has its warnings right there and they have very impressive warnings I like their warnings they're not silly and it comes in materials stainless steel black I oh, they ha they have a stainless steel they have a carbon fiber rainbow one I want it I want it or no it's um, a same a metal rainbow I, it was metalish looking rainbow oh I wanted it so bad but they didn't send me that one but whatever you know can't get everything you want but it comes in stainless steel black gun edition blue golden the gold just I just think go, any tank gold looks fantastic rainbow which is amazing if you oh, it, it, it's so pretty I will leave pictures I will get pictures and post them up or above there or 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 there or there, 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 there. God. one of these corners and it also comes in resin material, red, yellow, blue, green, black, and what I have is purple, which is funny because it's my least favorite color in the entire world, and they gave me my least favorite color in the entire world. I literally messaged them and begged them to send me another one, <laughs> but they didn't. <laughs> and it also comes in carbon fiber material, red, green, blue, black, silver, and purple. They come in all kinds. I just love it comes in different materials, different colors, di oh, so many options. Cannot ask for anything else better than that. Amazing. I'm telling you, you got to check out the metal material ones. That the rainbow is freaking 
amazing. All the metal material ones are so cool looking. They're all very nice, but I don't know, something about the metal material ones. I will definitely have them pictures and I'll show you each style, every color, and I'm telling you, you're going to fall in love with the metal material ones if you're anything like me. Alright, so let's get in the packaging. You're like, stop talking, Panda. Do your job. Okay, do the review. Now it opened. Obviously, it was tape. Very good, actually. I had to tear that crap apart. <laughs> yeah, I tore that in. I broke that be in. Be in. Alright, so it comes just like so. Like so. Obviously, my coil has juice pre-installed in it because I was using it. I was using, like I said, Dinner Lady Lemon Tart. Can't say enough about this. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so we are going to talk about this in a second. We're going to get in the box and see what's included in this baby. If I can. They definitely packaged this very tightly, let me tell you. Alright, so of course you got your your little baggie uh, uh you got your ba bag of salt if you need it for your dinner, you know. No, honestly don't eat this. It's not good for you. Not good at all. But I've actually used this for um I keep these around because if like your mod gets wet or your phone or something you put it you put a bunch of these where the battery is and or package it in a tight seal with these things if you have a whole bunch of them and let me tell you they suck up the moisture and they save a, a few um, mods I dropped in the toilet <laughs> I've they actually saved a mod for me I from because they do suck up the moisture that is what they're for for moisture to make sure there's no moisture that gets caught into the box seal the box while it's in shipping or whatever especially if it's a damp rainy day you know so you got your different size o-rings i like that they're clear that is that's nice especially when you have they have like all kinds of different ones i don't know what they're like because there's different they have a fat one for right there like you just see yeah they have the little o-rings and it matches it look I mean it looks a lot better than having black o-rings it just looks so like just a cleaner look when it has a clear o-ring and then you got your extra pyrex glass if I can get it out with these nails sheesh panda this is a third a three milliliter of e-liquid this is and it comes so this comes with an extra tank and it's it's made out of pyrex which I'm guessing is really good glass or plastic so I'm pretty sure it's glass so that way maybe they don't break as easy not quite sure but I love when they come with extra glasses which everyone should do because you, people have a habit of breaking them and you got your extra one zero uh, ear and you have your extra 0.15 mesh coil yep and if you see the material how it's like if you see how that is like them little squares that is what the metal material ones look like all on it they're just amazing looking <laughs> yeah well so here is your mess mesh coil I'm telling you that these mesh coils are amazing so what it is it's got mesh around cotton and it just vapes so darn well oh my god like it handles high heat like like no other it definitely does I have not burnt my coil I didn't I have not got a dry hit it's just these mesh coils I'm def 
definitely make me like um, vaping on um, tanks again. So that's all you get. It's, there is not no like crazy things because it's not an RDA. You don't have to build on it or anything. So you don't need tools and screws and all that stuff. So that is what you get with it. And then you just put it back like so. Alright. Whatever. I'm just going to put that to the side. So here is the beauty. It is gorgeous. Let me tell you. Gorgeous. Look how pretty that resin is. Even though it's purple. Eh. Puke on my parade. Oh, I love it. I would have loved it in another color, but, but you know it can't be picky when you're getting things for free. So, so here is the airway. See how it has a stopping mechanism so you don't go to you can't like turn it all the way. It it actually like okay. I don't have it all the way tight, so it actually is pretty like hard to turn the airflow all right so that's get your focus in this is how you turn it if you want to shut it all the way of course when you're filling it that's what you want to do I just hold on to the glass. It does. I wish it was a little easier. So we are going to take this apart, and I'm going to show you what it's all about. So here is the drip tip. It has its O-rings right there, and you do get replacement O-rings for it. The resin is beautiful, regardless of the color of it. It is a very beautiful resin. I love it. I think it's gorgeous. The re now I always would pick the resin, but I wanted to pick something new. But they just said no, Panda. You are going to get this resin, and that's it. So that's what I got. All right. I was trying to do the autofocus, but the autofocus just gets on my nerves. Okay. So there is your your inside where you know your drip tip see it and I'm telling you like it got it's like devoted in it does not come with a 510 adapter so you, you have to use the drip tip the 810 that's it and it fits nice and snug and let's this the threading is very nice. You don't even hear anything. Let me put it near the speaker. It's nice. Everything came apart very nicely when I first received it. I did not have to fight it. Now, as you can see, you got two little. You got two little divs on the side that's because of how this is it's for them that's how it's going to lock on that's where it sits so and these they got nice size um juice holes so that way you can put your juice in without mistakenly putting it in the middle do not put it in the middle if this is your first time Seeing a sub on tank or anything, you do not put your juice there. Um, they do tell you on, oh, where is the user manual? There is a user manual. It, I think it's under the box. Ugh. So, I think they just forgot to send me a user manual because I don't have one. Um, which is very strange. Alright, so they basically did not give me a user manual. Like, I looked 
and everywhere. I looked everywhere. I did not lose it. I keep my things pretty well together and I don't have a user manual. Sometimes when you get um, these items, they're pre, like the their samples or whatever. I don't know. I just made, they just forgot to put a user manual in my box. Which is so weird, but it happens. Sorry, I need a vape. Okay, so you have some good, good, um, juice holes right there. I, I like that a lot. I think the bigger the better, especially when you have like stuff like this or like big, um, when you have stuff like that, um, when you have ones that are like this, you definitely need big juice holes to, you know, get it in there so you don't get it all over and you don't also don't get it in the middle area of that. So, yeah. Alright, so we're going to take the glass off. And let me tell you, as easy as I'm doing it now, it's as easy as it came. It was fantastic. People um, I've been noticing Tank and RDA and RTA creators been making it a lot easier to take um, their the products apart, dis disassembling them when you receive them rather than before when I first started vaping, which is about a year now. Every time I got something, oh my god, it was a nightmare taking it apart. It was literally, I wanted to cry every time I took it, had to take it apart. So, this is the glass, and it comes with a nice fat overing right there. So, I have a nice suction because of that overing. The overing is nice and thick, and it makes sure you do not get no kind of leakage. I love that. And you really have no reason to take this glass off. I've cleaned it without taking the glass off. Unless you broke it. I mean, no reason to take this glass off, honestly. And here is your coil. It is a mesh coil. So it has mesh and then it has cotton and then mesh inside. There's mesh inside, there's mesh around. And there's the cotton in the middle so there is constant wicking wick 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 I've never had a dry vape out of this coil I love it it is uh, honestly out of any sub on tank I've ever tried mesh coils are better be the new thing they need a, everybody needs to start using them because they just give the best vapor the closest to an RDA or a rebuildable tank uh, in flavor wise and in wicking wise it's just delicious I honestly love vaping out of this it gives me full flavor and I have not had any issues with dry hits or burnt coils or and I run it at um, at a hundred and eight and between 108 and 110 watts it is re it recommends up to 90 40 to 90 watts but you know me I push the limit and I go I'm like uh -uh, I'm gonna go higher and see if it can handle it and I did I did not take it I would not take it any higher than 110 because you probably gonna burn your coil because it is not a rebuildable tank you, coils do cost money you don't want to waste your coil just by doing a silly test and I, I just don't want to waste it if they would have sent me a box of coils with this yeah I would have tested it for you guys to see how much it could have withstand and or if I just didn't really like the coil <laughs> option like the coil the are the tank I would have did it just because I probably never used it again but I can definitely see myself using this like all the time because the mesh coil makes the flavor so 
amazing. Oh my god, like, it's real, it's, and you get a hundred percent enjoyable vape. You do not feel like you're missing out because you're using a sub own tank and not an RDA. It is just, I vape the crap out of this. I'm constantly um, refilling it because I'm using high heat and it's a mesh coil so it is constantly doing its job and wicking as you're vaping so yeah you got to think of that it is going to go through juice because especially if you use it at the the own the own the, the wattages that I am using oh, Jesus yeah sorry guys dropping stuff dropping stuff yeah, so if you're gonna go be using high, high, um, I mean, jeez, Panda, talk normal. If you're gonna be using high wattages, you're definitely going to be going through your liquid because it's definitely gonna be burning up your liquid and also it's just does it wicks, it wicks, 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 wicks. I, I literally, I will do a test and show you how much I can vape without it doing giving me a dry vape gotta love them trinity glass caps gotta, gotta tell you the flavor in them things are amazing just gotta throw that in just gotta throw that in I'm loving my tri trinity caps Ugh. if you don't know their new website sorry mid advertisement <laughs> session it's trinityglasshardware.com they changed their website name if you can't find them that is why all right so you always want when you first get receive this you do want to make sure your coil is nice and tightly in there finger tight not machine tight <laughs> but nice and tight so you're not going to get any leaking when you fill it up you do want to do five drops in each of these little holes here just five drops, five drops, five drops, and then what I do is I do like three on the top and let it soak in, soak in, let it sit with some juice in it, fill up the tank, let it sit for about three to five minutes or a half hour to be safe. If you're not in an emergency of using it, you have something else you can use in the meantime. I would let it sit for a half hour so you definitely know it's nice and wicked. There is not going to be any issues. And let's put this baby back together. It is, it is actually, let me show you, it is actually, come on, focus in. It is actually um, hybrid like safe. That is well enough hybrid safe. And let me tell you, you've, you're like, oh my god, it's a tank. You're not going to put that on a tube mod or a me or mechanical mod. My Travis would definitely put that on a mechanical mod <laughs> because it is safe to, to use. And it has the installation on around it to put on a hybrid um, on a tube mod or a mechanical box mod and it says free max on the bottom right there has this little safety things right there and your serial number which makes it all your authenticity serial number it, mine is a 2,354. It's not that high, but it's pretty high. Pretty high number. I'm all over the map with this camera. Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, you can definitely use this on a um, mechanical device. Nice. Because I know people that like doing that. I'm not one, but be, just because I don't think the coil would be able to withstand um, the like the heat, I just don't think it would withstand it. 
All right, we are going to put it together. That's the only, the airflow is so, so tight, guys. Ugh. Let me actually move it. Because when you fill it up, you don't want to fill it up with your airflow open because then it can tend to leak. Ugh. Of course, this is going to give me issues. Issues with some tissues. What I did, I, I used, if you're having problems shutting your airflow at once, like, once it's, um, if it's dry and you just, you can't shut it, you're freaking out before, so you can fill it, I use a napkin to hold the glass, to hold the actual airflow area, and it made it a lot easier. And then you're going to put it on. Just make sure everything is nice and sturdy and tight. Put it on your device that you're going to be using. I am using my custom mod from Big Mike's Big Box Mods. I'm a, yeah, Big Mike's Big Box Mods. Um, let me make sure I got that right. Yeah. I will leave his information at the bottom of this um, review so you can contact him yeah he does custom mods and stuff like that so I already showed you it's gorgeous gorgeous I've done a review on this that I just got to upload all right so we're going to fill it always make sure when you're unscrewing stuff nothing else is getting like unscrewed like that glass make sure that glass is nice and snug on there you know finger snugged and fill it up I'm going back to lemon tart can't really go back to anything else once you put lemon in your the coil you might as well just keep it going and let's see how it fills the tanks does fill up a, a bunch, put a nice amount of juice in this, let it soak in a little bit so you don't get no leaking issues, so do the side a little bit, Is nice and full. You don't want to fill it all too full to where it's going to leak or anything like that. You just want, I do it to the white line right there. I do it to the O ring. And then you're going to want to open it up. And there is no leakage. If you can see. You can see that there's no leaking, none. And it looks so pretty with my purple um, button, I mean my pink buttons. It does look pretty on here even though I don't like purple but it does have pink in it so it looks very nice I've been using it on this and yeah okay so let me start up my mod this auto shuts down after a certain amount of time I'm not using it it um it doesn't it goes to sleep 
and then after a half hour, I'm pretty sure it is, it shuts down. See, I'm at 108 watts on this. Battery is halfway. And yes. And it's already ready because I already primed the coils way before. <laughs> I've been using them. So we are going to take it back up top. That is the Fire Loop Mesh. And we're going to take it back up top, and I'm going to do a vape, uh, um, a vape test to see how many vapes it takes to for a, if see if I get a dry hit or anything in, or close to a dry hit. I don't want it full dry hit, obviously, <laughs> but I will give it a vaping test and see how it goes. I'll take you see you back up there and see you soon. I hope. Yeah. So. I just love how pretty it looks on here. It's making me start to like purple a little bit, I'm thinking. I just like how it has pink, it has like a light purple, it has a dark purple. It is a very pretty, pretty resin, very beautiful finish on it. I, the only thing I do wish is that down, that the air, um, Airflow was a little easier to turn. It is hard to turn, when, especially even if we, when you got it on. But we'll talk about all that up top and see you soon. See you soon. See ya. See ya up there. Oh, and let me give you a nice close up of my engagement ring. Yeah. Let's see if we can focus in on it. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, baby. It's called the flower because Travis took my flower. It's like, just kidding. Lost it a long time ago. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. That baby is blinging, blinging. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Let's get up top and talk about this F Fire Luke Mesh Subone Tank. See you up there. All right, we're back up top. Hi, guys. <laughs> Did you miss me? Ah. So this is the Fire Luke Mesh by Freemax. I don't know. It's such an easy name, and I cannot remember it for the life of me. Um, yeah, so we are going to vape on this beauty. Yeah, look at that. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. It looks so good on my Matte Mod, too. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. So, we are going to vape on this, and we're going to see how it goes. We're going to do a vape test. At 180. I'm going to do 90 because that's what it recommends. And I don't want to burn my coil. <laughs> and then if 90 is not enough, I'm going to go up. Woo! Smoking the place out and not one dry. This thing is soaked. Soak, soak, soak. Soak to the rim. All right, let's go to 108 where I was and do another test without making Panda sick. Mhm. Mm yeah. I don't want to. I don't don't want it to overdo it with 108 because that is a very high um, wattage for what it recommends. That was three in a row, and I felt it not working as fast because I am on a very high wattage, but with 90, I could psh, 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 chain vape all day long. No problem. It was juicy the entire time. But when you vape it with high ohms, of course, you're testing its powers and its wicking abilities. You don't want to, who's going to chain vape anyway at 108? Not me. I don't change vape, 
period when it comes to like stuff like that anyway um you want to enjoy your vape enjoy that lemon tart mm, what yeah um i love the look of it even though it's purple <laughs> i will keep saying that i love the look of it i love that they have three different types of um materials with get up there eyebrow uh with tons of colors and styles in them types like literally so many different designs that you can choose from from resin to metal to um carbon and you know so it 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 is for everybody anybody with any kind of style will like this mesh mop mesh, mesh sub own tank i'm telling you the world needs to start building all sub own tanks with mesh coils because they are in the top they are the top tier coils that i think i vaped on even i even from a rebuildable tank I would take this over a rebuildable tank. Just be, but it, well, RTA, not rebuildable, rebuild, not a rebuildable tank. An RTA, um, because with RTAs, it's it's really they're finicky. Besides the Bravo, the Bravo is amazing. Um, well, I guess that's a rebuildable. Tank. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, wait, start over. I think mesh coils should be the new thing in all sub own tanks, rebuildable tanks. Um, I mean, I think they're better than I, I honestly, in my opinion, I would take this over a rebuildable tank or or a RTA, whatever, because this works so friggin' well that you get such a great flavor. It's so close to a RDA that it's fantastic. I love the flavoring in this this R, R this sub own tank. The, and it's all about the mesh. The mesh makes the biggest difference of it all. It wicks like a beast and it does its job every single time and it gives you that great great flavor that you need and can, can I tell you there was no leaking whatsoever first time I've ever filled anything that had a tank that did not leak at all it has I have not one ounce of juice in that then the airflow area not one ounce not not one drop at all it is good good to go I love it. The only con I have, my one con I do have, is the airflow adjuster needs to be a little bit tight, I mean looser, or should have a grip, some kind of gripping mechanism. So you, because it, it, it's very tight, it's super tight. And even when you got juice in there, yeah, I ain't moving that. Like, I can move it. I can shut it, but for some reason, when you're opening it, it has big issues wanting to open. Like, okay, it has issues when you want to open, but when you have it on something, it's not that bad. Okay, but when you're handling it and you want to shut it, make sure just put it on your base of your, put it on your mod. And then you you'll be able to function it better. I think it's when you have it in your hand, it just starts unscrewing everything, and it's you can't you, you it's just too tough. Put it on your mod, then you can adjust it. That's my advice for that. So that's not really a con. It's just you do have to post it on something, ground it on something to be able to move that airflow adjuster because otherwise. You're just going to be unloosening everything that you're, you're gripping onto. Um, I have no cons. That's no other cons. 
it has great flavor. It wicks like no other. Um, I get, I can go over the limit of 90, um, watt, watts to 110 if I felt like it. I will literally go there right now. 110 watts. 110. I don't I don't really like going to 110 because I feel like I'm pushing it just a little bit too far but 108 is a really sweet spot where I know I can vape it there and I'm good Ninety still tastes good but I just I like that I like I like a hot vape I like a little bit of a warm dense vape you know so 108 and for it to be able to take that and handle it, and I've been using it for two weeks at that wattage, and I haven't burned it. I have not burnt it. It's still running nice and strong, and I'm running it on a, what is this, what is it? a 7030 BGPG, so it's a high VG, and the the coil is fine, fine. It, it there ain't no gook or nothing. It's, it looks clean. I mean, it's still white. I had three milligram nicotine. I'm telling you, go get this if you like subone tanks, or even if you you like you you do RDAs or rebuildables, you want to try a mesh subone tank. The Fire Luke Mesh by Freemax is the best one to get. This is the first one I've tried, and I love it. I will keep using it. I will probably get another color, the rainbow, like I want it. Um, I will definitely get more coils for it. The coil is running strong after two weeks. I still get great flavor. Um, I have not had any, like, not getting flavor or any problems at all. It's, of course, is it an RDA? No, it's not an RDA. Of course not. But it is very close to the flavoring of, of an RDA. It gives me more of the um, lemon part of the, the lemon tart rather than the bakery area of the lemon tart, which is why I like RDAs because you get that fullness of every component of the juice. But it is a sub own tank. So sub own tanks aren't going to give you the RDA experience, obviously. That's just not happening. But it still gives me amazing flavor. And I still love vaping off of it. And it wicks so well that I have no problem. I know I'm not going to get a dry vape off of this. Honestly, drips. Let it sit for a half hour, vape on something else for a bit, and you're good to go. Like, seriously, you're good to go. It's gives amazing vapor production and amazing flavoring. I have it wide open. Let's shut it a little bit. Let's see. I'm going to shut it halfway because, you know. Yeah, it is a little loud. It's a little on the loud side. It does whistle. It has a little whistling problem, but you know what? The Bravo does too, but you know what I did with Bravo? I shut the Bravo down just a teeny bit, and it takes that whistling right off out of there. If you have the Bravo and you're having whistling issues, just shut it just a See, I shut it just just a tad, just a tad, and it takes that whistling right away. Oh, we're not we're not reviewing that, so I'm not going to do all that. But um, yeah. Anytime you, but this has whistling no matter what, and it's fine. It does 
I don't. I didn't even notice it until I saw, I did the review, and now I hear it. But it's good to go. All right, guys, that is my review on the Fire Luke mesh from Freemax. Go purchase it. You can purchase it at Heaven's Gifts. Heaven Gifts dot or it's Heaven Heaven Gifts Heaven Gifts dot com. I will leave the link where you can purchase it from them. Thank you, Heaven Gifts, for sending this out to me for a review for the purpose of this review. But it does never ever change my opinion of the product. Um, I will always give you an honest review, no matter what. Um, I want to thank them for sending out e either way. And I do, I enjoy it. I love it for being a already a junkie and a mechanical. I'm, I'm, look at me. I'm using a regulated mod and a, a, a tank. What is going on with Panda? <laughs> I'm telling you, it, it, it is worth the buck. I don't, let's see how much it is because I did not even think about looking that up. You can get this um, at Heaven's Gift. At, Heaven, Heaven Gifts, sorry. Heaven Gifts for $31.99. That's at Heaven's Gift. Heaven Gifts. Heaven, Heaven Gifts. And they have all the colors, all the materials that you can, they offer. Um, you can also get it at 8 Bay for $22.50 if you want to do the weight. But they're pretty quick with their shipping, but um, you're going to wait a little bit. A little bit from them um you can get it you can get the coils the replacement coils at vape wild for $14.99 you get a um I don't know how many's in there probably like a five pack or something I'm not sure don't hold me on that um vape wild has has this available for $27.99 Let's see if they got all the options, though. No, they do not. They do not have all the options. They don't even have half the options. Um, my Vapor Store has it for $26.99. Element Vapes has it for $28.95. Vapor DNA has it for $27.99. And let's see if they have it. I have all the options. It is running out fast. Let me tell you, you need to hurry up and purchase this. Now, um, Vapor DNA has most of the has most of the colors and the um, options that you can purchase of them. Um, I would personally go and have and skip because you're guaranteed to get have all the materials, all the colors that they have. But you know, but you know, you definitely want to get your get a deal. So if you want it cheaper, shop other other places. Try to find the one that you want in other um trusted websites don't don't just because it's cheap and if you don't know that website do not risk it because let me tell you there you you want your product you, you don't want to just cheaper is not always better if you're not going to receive your item that's what i'm trying to say so go to a trusted website, make sure that you know that you are going to receive that item. And if you can find a deal and you can get the one that you want for a cheaper price, go right ahead. But if you can't, go to Heaven Gifts and they most likely will have what you want. Um, that is my review on the Freemax Fire Luke Mesh sub -ohm Tank. Um, I love it. I really like it a lot. So that is my review. I hope you enjoyed this. If you enjoyed my review, please hit that like button and share so everyone else can enjoy it as much as you did. And if you have not subscribed yet, please do. 
hit that subscribe button. It only takes one little second to hit that subscribe button, and you're always up to date to what my reviews are, and you won't miss anything that I pull up. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.